What is currently happening programs? Today I'm going to show you the best and easiest way to record your VR gameplay in high quality for free so you can spread the virus with the world. This is one of the questions I get asked most so if you want to know how you can get them games then stay locked, enjoy and I hope it helps. VR is quite taxing on a PC's performance, and game recording can be too, so ideally a capture card like the Elgato HD60 is recommended to take the strain off your PC. If you have one of those, or if you are looking at getting one, then check the description below for a link to this tutorial and where you can get an Elgato capture card. If you want to record your VR gameplay on your PC without a capture card for free, then the first thing you need to do is get the gameplay showing clearly on your desktop and so the best way in my opinion is if you're on a Vive or WMR headset and using Steam VR is to click this arrow here and choose display mirror then click on main choose left eye only and then maximize the screen as far as I know this is the only way to get a decent output from Steam VR at this stage and we'll make this full screen shortly Rift users on the other hand can use the oculus mirror tool which is located on whatever drive you have your Oculus Home software on, mine is C Drive, Program Files, Oculus, Support, and in Oculus Diagnostics. In here, you'll spot the Oculus Mirror tool. By default, this outputs a low-res image, which is pretty shit. So let's make that 1920 by 1080 by right-clicking on the Oculus Mirror executable and creating a shortcut. Then right-click that, go to Properties, and then in this target field, at the end of the line, add a space, dash, dash, size, space, 1920 space 1080. I'll also put that in the description of this vid so you can copy it directly from there. Once you're done, click OK. Now when you launch the Oculus Mirror using this shortcut, you'll get a full screen 1080p output that accounts for a mix of what you see from both eyes. Now to record either of these Steam VR or Oculus outputs, head up Google and search for OBS. Click this top option here and then download and install the Windows version of OBS. Once OBS is installed, start it up and in the sources area, right click and add a display capture. Click OK, then from this list, select the display or monitor you currently have your Steam VR display mirror or Oculus mirror open on. If that's the same mirror you have OBS on, you'll get this mirrored hallway effect, but we'll get rid of that in a minute. Untick this capture cursor box and click OK. Now in the OBS settings menu go to the output tab and in this recording section set the recording path to a location on your PC that you want to record your gameplay to ideally this would be a second hard drive though that is not essential choose indistinguishable quality from this list here as this will give you a high quality video and comes in at a little under 2 gig per hour of recording this is best because when you edit these recordings or even upload them straight to YouTube, it's best to feed YouTube or your editing software something with a higher bitrate before it gets compressed again when it uploads. If you have a mid-range PC, a single hard drive, limited hard drive space, or you get artifacts while recording, you can set this to high quality, which pretty much halves the file size, though I would only use this if I absolutely had to. Now set the recording format to MKV. This is identical in quality to MP4, but the benefit the benefit of recording in MKV is that if your PC dies in the ass while you're in the middle of a recording, you can still use the file. Then once you're done recording, you can go up to File, Remux Recordings, browse to your MKV file in here, and then convert it to an MP4, which will only take a couple of seconds. Then you can edit your video in software like Sony Vegas or Premiere Pro, or upload directly to YouTube if that's your thing. Almost everyone will want to set the encoder to x264 which is what I've always used. If you have a low spec CPU and a fast hard drive then you could try this low CPU preset. Or if you have an 
an absolute beast NVIDIA graphics card and a lower spec CPU, you can use NVNC to let your graphics card take more of the recording strain. For everyone else, or if you are unsure what your PC has, set this to X264. On the audio tab, set the sample rate to 44.1 kHz, the channels to stereo, and leave the desktop audio device to default. If you want to add voice commentary to your videos, you can also plug a mic into your PC and choose that mic from this list if you like. Just keep in mind that if you do that, your voice will be permanently mixed in with the video once you hit record. On the video tab, set the base and output resolutions both to 1920 by 1080, the downscale filter to bicubic, and the FPS value to 29.97 for 30 FPS gameplay or 59.94 for 60 FPS gameplay. The reason for this is in part due to a process called 3.2 pulldown, which goes way beyond the scope of this video. All you need to know is that YouTube and most editing software work natively in one of these two frame rates. On the hotkeys tab, in the start and stop recording fields, you can set a key on your keyboard that will start and stop recording. This is ideal if you don't plan on editing video, you just plan on recording in OBS, then uploading straight to YouTube, and you'll see why in a second. Once you're done, click OK. Now, whether you are using the Steam VR left eye output, or the Oculus Mirror, what you need to do is stretch this image out a little so it fills your whole screen, or you can set it to taste, and you do that by clicking and dragging these little red circles around. If you wanna add a webcam at this point, right click in the sources area, add a video capture device, click OK. Now select your webcam from this list here, set this resolution FPS type drop down menu to custom, then change the resolution to whatever resolution your webcam is. Mine is 1920 by 1080. Click OK and then just resize and drop your webcam to where you want it. At this stage, you can add an image like a .png file over top of your recording by adding an image. Clicking OK and then browsing to the location on your computer where you have your PNG file. Add it the same way as the other sources and then move it around and resize it if required. Now all you need to do is either hit start recording and if you only have one PC monitor, then minimize OBS. Or if you set a hotkey earlier, you can minimize OBS first and then hit that hotkey on your keyboard to start recording. This means your video will be nice and trimmed, ready to upload directly to YouTube if that's your thing. It is a good idea to have two monitors though as you can keep OBS open on your second monitor and keep an eye on it to make sure that it is actually recording. Once you're done recording, just hit the stop recording button or use the hotkey if you set one up. Now go up to file, remix recordings and browse to the location on your hard drive where your MKV file is stored. Then remix your MKV file to an MP4. Now go back to file, show recordings and you'll see both your MKV and MP4 files in here. You can just delete the MKV file as it's no longer needed. Now get out there and share your VR gameplay with the world. And that's it for this tutorial. You can help support this channel by grabbing exclusive rewards on Patreon and if you like this video then crush that like button, have your say in the comments below and hit the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.